Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be switching things up a bit and talking a little bit more about my reflections as a law school student, specifically on my decision to take time off after college and before I attended law school. Now keep in mind all of the thoughts I'm expressing in this video are of course my own. Every person's journey is different and so keep that in mind as I talk about kind of the pros and cons to um, taking time off after college and before going to law school. Cool. Um, before I go any further, please take some time to subscribe to my channel, uh, but hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification button because I will be coming out with more videos more often on a range of topics. So you want to make sure that you do not miss any of those videos. Great. Now let's get into what you came here for. So as I've like probably mentioned like 20,000 times on my Instagram and maybe even on this channel or like to anyone who would want to listen, I just finished my first year of law school at Columbia Law School. Um, and it was quite the experience, not only because law school is really stressful as it is, but throw in a worldwide pandemic and it just becomes incredibly stressful more than anyone could have ever imagined. Why did I decide to take time off before going to law school? Now, if you are from any like immigrant family, African family, Nigerian family, like I am, it can be very scary to like say that you aren't going to go straight into grad school. Um, that's a new idea. It's unconventional. And I'm grateful that I had a family that like understood that. But a lot of people don't necessarily have that understanding in their family. Moreover, I went into teaching and that's not necessarily the most conventional path to take towards law school. But also the point of this whole entire video is that there is no conventional path. So the reasons that I took time before going to law school were because one, I personally did not have it in me to do another application. Like flat out, I was tired, I was fatigued. Applying straight through to law school means you're applying your senior year, maybe you're taking your LSAT your junior year or your senior year, and I was in the middle of a senior thesis. As a junior, I was the leader of an on-campus organization. There were just a whole host of other factors that kept me from being ready to sit down and apply to law schools and study for the LSAT. Um, so that was the main reason. Number one, I just needed a break. On the flip side of that, if you're someone who one feels like you, you're up for the challenge, obviously like you could potentially go for it. Um, but also like you're already in that work set, that mindset of, you know, grinding, grinding, grinding. And so you just continue to go from that. Sometimes when you're out of school for a couple of years, it might feel weird to get back into the swing of standardized testing and things like that. So I definitely think there are some pros to going straight through in terms of you already being accustomed to taking tests and preparing an application. Um, another reason that I didn't apply straight through to law school, and this is a factor that a lot of people don't consider, is I don't necessarily think I had built the strongest relationships with professors on campus um, to the point where I could ask them or felt comfortable asking them for a recommendation that I knew would be strong. I mean, that's a factor that a lot of people don't consider because when you go out and you work for a couple of years, you are then able to throw in a professional recommendation. And so I was someone who also included a professional recommendation in my application. And that was something that I think really, really helped. Um, having someone who had seen me in one job in one space for over the course of two years be able to speak to my application and my strengths as someone who was looking to enter a legal career. Obviously, if you're someone who has really strong connections with professors, things like that, then that doesn't necessarily apply to you, but it's also something to consider. Another reason why I didn't apply straight to law school is, or I didn't necessarily go straight through to law school is for, I don't wanna say for financial reasons, but law school is a huge investment. Um, and on top of that, like you are like going straight through, like as a college student, I mean, obviously everyone's financial background is different, but as a college student, if you <laughs> had done college, you weren't necessarily making a huge sum of money. And that's not to say you're making a huge sum of money when you take time off, but it is to say that you might be a little bit more financially secure in some ways, um, more so than you would have been as a 21 year old, 22 year old college graduate. So taking time off also gave me time to think ahead and start saving um, for being in a position where I was not going to be making money for a couple of years. 
Additionally, another reason that I took time off from law school was because I just wanted to get experience working. Um, I wanted to get experience working and I wanted to remember or like remind myself or make sure that I wasn't just going to law school because this was what I had said I was going to do since I was five. Um, so working as a teacher, <clears throat> Working as a teacher allowed me to, you know, think about different aspects of the law, how the law might apply to something like education, how the law applies to our history, um, because I was a history teacher. So there are a number of reasons why it was important for me to take time off, because I don't think I had necessarily experienced much of life, and I still don't think I have now either. <laughs> um, but I don't think at 22 or at 21, which is when I would have been applying, I would have experienced as much or enough to know like definitively why I wanted to go to law school. Um, and that changed over the course of my two years as a teacher living in New York City. I also want to add, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how many reasons I just gave, which I probably should have been counting, but I also want to add that law schools are totally okay with you taking time off between college and law school. In fact, a lot of schools with junior deferral programs where you are applying as a junior in college and then you get in, but you have to take two years off um, or however many years off, a lot of schools do appreciate having just real life work experience. I think I was, I know, I know I was a very different person when I graduated college than who I was when I started law school. Those two years did a lot um, in, in changing me and growing me um, and in making me just more focused on what was really important and preparing me for what I knew would be a very like, you know, tumultuous time in school or at least for the first year. But it really did prepare me and it helped me grow as a person. And it only helps that law schools themselves realize that and appreciate that. All of that isn't to say that there aren't good reasons for taking time off. The only, I mean, there that there aren't good reasons for going straight through. But I do want to, you know, create this video to encourage someone who might think that, you know, you know, I didn't get the test scores that I wanted and so I can't apply straight through or I don't necessarily know why I'm applying so I can't apply straight through. Like it definitely is going to be okay. And I can say now from the perspective of someone who's gone through my first year of law school that looking back, I think the maturity helped me a lot more. Um, I just think that, you know, and <laughs> that is not to say that everyone who goes straight through is immature. That's to say that I wouldn't have been as mature and I wouldn't have been as focused. Keep in mind, like everything that I'm saying is from my own perspective. There are some people who are really, really dope who can do it and go straight through and that's cool. Um, but I think it was really, really helpful for me to have that time off to just like chill you know have fun enjoy new york city or whatever because i'm from new york or whatever um but then also reel it back in two years down the line and come back and go to law school those are reasons why it was important for me to take time off between college in law school so yeah i think that's pretty much all that i have to say but if you're in a similar boat i hope this video can encourage you in some way and also if you're in a similar boat like let me know what your thoughts are in the comments between going straight through and taking time off to apply to law school thanks so much for watching guys bye